I'm gonna take you through a 15 minute workout using just weights and you could choose any weight you want. Let's get going. Let's start out with a nice deep breath in. I'm gonna to step to the side and hold it. Step together and hold it. What I'm trying to make you do is learn how to prep your body for resistance. Step and bend your knees, stay right there. Let's add the arms, so let's go. Step, biceps. Nice easy hammer curl. We're gonna start off nice and slow, but we're gonna cover it all pretty quickly. Squeeze, do it again, push. Now we're gonna go all the way up, watch this. In, all the way up, down, all the way down, in, all the way up. Watch the elbow tracking, push. Now right through the center, in, up, in, down. I like to move a little bit, no matter what I do at the beginning of a workout, just to loosen things up. Here we go. Center, watch my arms. In, reach, soft knees, release. Notice at the bottom what I'm doing. I'm squeezing my chest forward and pinching the back of the shoulder blades together. If you lift rounded, you're gonna build rounded. Let's do a couple more. Reach, track, down. Reach, give me a couple more. I'm just gonna get those shoulders nice and warm. Then I'm gonna go in, up, and all the way around down. So it's in, down, in. Slow negative, do that again. Reach, come on, you can do it. Two more, just like that. Give me one more, now hold it. Iron cross, this is where we gain our strength. Hold it, have fun with that. You got it. Watch my elbows. We're gonna up, overhead press. Now notice, I'm not squeezing my ears. I wanna keep it open shoulder so that you don't impinge them. Press. Then we're gonna go three down, one up. So it's pump it. Take it up. Do it again. Pump. Do it again. Just a quickie, just a quickie. Last one. Push. Bring it on down. We're gonna go in, squat. Hold it there. In, squat. Hold it there. In, squat. Last one, and then we're gonna go right through the middle. Come on down. Tap. Drop the arms. Tap. Now when I do a squat, for me, the best position is with my weight in my heels, and I tap my toes to relax my knees. Notice when I come up, hips press forward to relax the hip flexor. I'm not popping my hips all the way front, it's just a release. Give me a knee right there. Knee. <sighs> gonna get that heart rate up just a little bit. Four more. Then we're gonna go back to squats. Yes we are. Right here, down for three. Watch my arms. One elbow, set, forward reach. The other one, set. That way the back's protected, you're working the core. Hold it down, both elbows, tap. Now you gotta pull the shoulders away from the ears. You gotta have a long back. You're gonna feel those legs burn right here. Push, up to the toes we go, lift. So I'm focusing on balance. Taking my weight in the big toe, not rolling to the pinkies, push. Squeeze your booty, squeeze your inner thighs. Then we're gonna balance up on those toes. Hold it, fight for it. Shoulders are down, abs are in. Take one last breath. Really fight for that balance. I always include balance in my workout. I think it's that important. Squats. Push it up. We're gonna finish this out, loosening up those hips. Four. We're gonna change the movement, take it to the upper body. Here we go, we're gonna go push. So these are rows. I'm bringing my hands in, but watch the up. Shoulder blades to the back. Pull. 
Making a few more just like that. Posture. Good posture and you're not arching your back. Your legs can be open if you like. I'm just comfortable right here. I pick my spot. Now I'm gonna change the arms. Crisscross. Pull the back. We're gonna go cross body. Elbows back. Now notice what I'm doing with my back. I'm trying to keep a long back, my head in line with the spine. Reach, keep going. Cross. Shoulder blades. We want a strong back. I do a lot of my work to the back of the body. Let's go. Right through. Pull. Pull. Shoulder blades. Give me a few more. We'll set up for the lower legs right now. Rear lunge. Push. Bring it again. So I'm doing one leg only, your right leg back. Push. Notice my knee right over my ankle. Other leg shoulder width apart. Just relax your arms, give them a break. The more dynamic, the more work it'll be. Give me your last one. I'm gonna burn your legs out. Take it to the side. Do it again. Side. My leg stays on the same line at the back. It doesn't move. Then I'm gonna crisscross behind. Push, it's not a lot. Just enough to change things a little bit. Push. Reach. Here's your last one. Here's where it gets fun. Side to side, three points. Three points, I'm not coming up. I'm not coming up. All right, you should be feeling it in your legs right now. Squeeze your glutes, take out the middle. Eight. Push. Push. Yeah. Last four. Three. Woo, I'm moving the floor. Two. Center, take it down. Anterior. Rear. We did the bottom, we're doing the top. Reach. We're gonna do a few more of these. Down, squeeze. I want you to put more effort in the back arm than the front. Keep going. Squeeze. You got it. Second leg. Push. Take a break. Check yourself, can you see your toe? Using your front heel to lift your body weight. Squeezing your elevators. These are your elevators, your butt. Again. Got four more. Push. Notice I'm tapping that front toe. If you want to make it harder, back toe two. Last one. To the outside. We got four of those, come on. You got it. Take a deep breath. We're about halfway there. To the curtsy lung, it's, it's a middle curtsy lunge, not big. Lunge it, curtsy it. Very small curtsy. Now, three points. Notice I'm not coming up. Again. Here's where you're gonna have to really bring it in, bring it home. Push, come on, push, push. Take that middle tap, tap out. Take that middle tap out. Oh yeah, hold it there. Biceps, ooh, happy to be here. Watch my arms, I'm gonna open up the hands, change the biceps. Come up on those toes, balance. Come on. You can do biceps in your sleep. So we gotta add a little challenge. Pull. Armpits tight, good posture. You've got it, give me a few more. Pull it up. Then what we're gonna do is an isometric hold. These work great to strengthen the body. Ready? 
Just hold it there. Hold it. Hold it. I'm on my toes still. Are you balancing? All right, let's go. Calves, calves, big toe, big toe. Push, push. One more set of eight. Don't go to the pinky. Four, three, two. Oh, open up. This is my favorite position. Sumo position. Knee over ankle. We're gonna go armpit. V, armpit. Rotate under. Armpit. Long V. The reason I like to do a V because it keeps the impingement out of the shoulder. Let's go. Push. Push. Keep going. We got two more. Then we're gonna party on the dance floor. Oh yeah. You never partied on the dance floor? Here we go. Party on the dance floor. Work those glutes. Tighten it up. One more set. No one's watching you. Just have fun. Stay low. Move it through the hips. Come on, dance it around. Four, don't come up. Go down, go down. Place it on top. Now squeeze. All I'm doing is pushing on my legs, strengthening my back, opening the sternum. Don't overarch the spine. Hold it there. Looks like you're doing nothing. Right arm, we're gonna go. Lift, push down hard. Lift, push down hard. Lift, keep going. Lift, one more time each. Don't move the body. I know your legs are dying right now. I want you to stay with me. Lift, one more each way. Use your core to control the weight. Both arms. Squeeze, hold, push, hold. Drop it down. Squeeze, show me your back strength. Push the hands together, down. Stay there on the hip flexors, drive the toes. This is where your heart rate's gonna come up. Press. You got it. Now watch my thighs, I'm gonna drive them back. Go, back. Hip rotation, shoulders back. Your legs are yelling at you. You don't have to listen to them yet. <laughs> Stay there. Now rock and roll the glutes right here. Back, tuck, back, tuck. Little mobility in the hip. Don't overarch, don't over tuck, just move it around. So right about now, you're wishing you didn't start this 15 minutes. Tap it out, let's finish it. Tap, tap. This is it. We got a few more, we get to go to the floor. Dig in, press. Last two, you got it. Step it on down. Fantastic. We're gonna do a little chest work. Make sure that we get the whole body worked. I'm gonna start in a tilt position. This is gonna work the core. And I am gonna do that overhead press again, but it's in front of the body, the stress is on the core. Watch the change, one at a time. Reach, uh, reach. Both arms, here we go again. Think about your abs, don't overarch, don't tilt. Reach it, back arm, front arm, back arm. Then all the way down, same thing. Now when you think chest press, you're working directly over your sternum. Now you can lift your hips if you'd like to do some butt work. You can lift your legs if you want to do some core work. But my focus is on the chest. Give me a couple more. I'm gonna do something called a crisscross press. You're gonna go cross, open. That cross arm builds a little bit more strength in the shoulder. You go to a spot that feels just a little weird. Don't overdo it, and you always want to move slowly. Give me a couple more. Great. Last one. We're going to hold it one inch above the ground. Now, dynamic, pop, chest, power. You can do this. Finish it out. Pop that chest. Squeeze, squeeze. Now, all you're going to do is hold it there. Tuck those knees in. 
Shoulders are just a little bit up. You can have your head down. Shoulders are a little up. Finish it up. Three, that's your ab work. Two, tuck and roll. Woo! I hope you enjoyed 15 minutes of just weights. Until next time. <laughs>